Hello everyone, today we're taking a look at the Yarner Windows Worm. So let's go ahead and run it. You'll see it drops a few files to the Windows directory here. And as you can tell, it renamed the original Notepad to NotedPad.exe. If we scroll down here, we can see the original file name is now a copy of the worm. So anytime you try to open a text document, it will run the worm instead. Now normally this wouldn't be too dangerous, but it also drops itself to other files as well, and has a pretty dangerous payload. One out of every ten times you run it, it will actually delete everything on the hard drive. So let's try and get that payload to activate. Oh yeah, there should be some randomly named files in here as well. See, we got dolphug.exe. Should be another one. Maybe not, though. Guess not. Alright, let's run this shit again. Kernel32.das Another copy. DAA. Now we have TWBTQ bunch of gibberish characters. W... holy shit. That's a long file name. Well anyway, we'll get that file deletion one of these times. Let's run this one a whole bunch of times and see what happens. Holy crap. That's a lot of viruses. Well, I guess it's a worm, so... We'll run all of the worm files. Damn, look at that. This should be good. Holy crap. Oh crap, well there it goes. Deleted everything except for the worm files, it looks like. You see the Windows directory is just emptied out. Desktop is now gray. Not accessible. The folder is gone. Um, I guess we can try to run whatever's left in program. Ooh, Office is still alive. Some of Office is still alive. Outlook is still here. Preparing to install. Uh oh. Error processing. Try reinstalling Outlook can't create the default folder shortcuts for the Outlook bar. Unable to open the Outlook window. Well, I guess that's not happening. RegEdit is gone. Of course, if we if we restart right now. I think I just moved the frame of recording. Oh well. Anyway, if we restart right now, it's going to be pretty messed up. Yeah, as you can see, invalid system disk. Place the disk and then press any key. So it can't even tell that Windows is installed on the hard drive anymore. So that's about it for the Yarner Windows worm.